Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to VR Verdict Podcast, episode 118, our weekly podcast where we talk about everything VR. Speaking of, we are in VR. We don't say this enough. We are doing the show live in VR. You can catch our YouTube channel, uh, VR Verdict, on YouTube.com. Leave comments. I don't know why Wookiee's flipping the camera off with pills, but if, yeah, anyway, if you're listening to this only doing. and you didn't know we were in VR, I'm trying. <laughs> Letter is really excited to see Bender over there. Huh? You, you can you can come here. <laughs> like, no, no, I made circles. That, that makes them up. Now you can see me flipping off the camera. I gotta be honest. I was seeing something other than you flipping it off. <laughs> yeah. <Kinda> like, <laughs> <laughs> What's your podcast rated? I mean, come oh on. my god, <laughs> we don't have a rating. <laughs> anyway, I'm PJ. I'm Wookie. And I'm Lorne. Hello, I'm Lorne. Hey, Lorne. Lorne's from Corrupted up, Media Lorne? Studios, uh, working on their game Vertical Shift. Here to talk about it. So yeah, I like what you've done the, with the place. Uh, is this how it always looks? Uh, 90, 80, 90 percent. Yeah, we change it for every guest. <laughs> Sometimes we bring in game assets like weapons or characters, and you can see them in VR and stuff. But uh, I yeah. think he was like wondering if we have his posters up all the time. Yeah, yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That's it's... what I'm hoping for. <laughs> it's just, it's actually, we had Next to take time. some down. We thought there were going to be copyright problems. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Bender a... might be, but he's inside the camera. <laughs> Nobody yeah, can you... see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so no one knows he's what we're talking it. about when we point towards them and call them Bender? Yeah. <laughs> Make all, hail. <laughs> all hail. All hail. He, he is legend. To find out what we're talking about, you'll have to join our audience. It's coming soon. When, when I develop the audience <laughs> part. Oh. So anyway, back to Vertical Shift. Um, tell us a little bit about your game and, and uh, what's going on with you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, so we're Corrupted Media Productions. We're developing Vertical Shift, as you mentioned. Um, Vertical Shift... Uh, in simple words, you have a grapple hook, and you have a jetpack, and you fly around dense cityscapes and play and compete in multiplayer matches. Uh, we're a multiplayer game primarily. We've got really, really fun game modes like this one on the TV right now. That one's called Freeze Tag. It works uh, kind of like you might remember Freeze Tag from the playground. Two teams face off. Your goal is to tag everybody else and keep your team untagged. Uh, and that's our really competitive <laughs> mode. We run tournaments on that all the time. Uh, typically, oh. one uh, tournament a month, and then actually in next week we have a community-run tournament, which we're it's our very first one run by our uh, community, our Discord moderator Brick, and I'm very excited okay. to see what he does with it. Um, we also have a race game mode. Uh, we have a hot seat game mode. Uh, kind of think of it as like an inverse King of the Hill, where if you tag somebody, you become King of the the hot seat, and everybody's trying to take it from you. And uh, nice. it's our really, really popular one, too, is Infection. If you played Halo, <laughs> you'll, you'll know this one. Uh, yeah. One person starts as it. They're trying to tag everybody. If you get tagged, you're it. And it grows into this chaotic, terrifying mess of people chasing you through the sky. Uh, nice. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. We've got a rapidly growing community. Um, we, and uh, you can join our Discord to find people to play with. You can also just hop in the game, and there's typically a room open you can join. And we've got a lot of really friendly people playing who love to teach people, uh, you know, how to get good at it. And speaking of that, all the links to everything will be in the show notes. But um, it's also, correct me if I'm wrong, but last time I checked, I just played it. It's free on App Lab and Steam right now, correct? It's, it's free as it can be. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is now we're still in beta. So while uh, the idea here is to really, really kind of try and true uh, the ideas we have, um, it won't be free forever. One day we will have a paid <laughs> launch. But uh, for now, we want to get as many eyes in the game, as many players in the game. And uh, just, you know, let us know what you think. Uh, that's a really big thing we want to make sure people know is we want to hear what you think. If you don't like our game, let us know. If you do like our game, please let us know. 
uh, we've got all kinds of channels in our Discord for reporting bugs, and we've got a huge community of playtesters who are, uh, you know, merciless. <laughs> That's awesome. What, um, I just noticed, I didn't, must not have saw it in the game, but is there a game that involves police cars, or is that just background? So our single player, uh, we have five single player missions nice. and kind of a short progression through them uh, in this big, er, this big, big city of the future in a dystopian world where fog has descended upon the earth covered in toxic fumes. And uh, you have to live in these super tall skyscrapers to survive. But uh, the people who took over and run those skyscrapers are not nice people. And so this is that you can actually see the skyscrapers there. That's our prison break mission. Uh, I think the police chase is uh, next and they're called peacekeepers and they work for the corporate leadership group, the CLG. Nice. And we've got other lore. I, I'm actually the lead writer on the project, so I can go on forever about the game's oh, lore. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, um, like I said, I did play it. I must, I, I don't remember how many missions I got into it. I did the tutorial and the trainings. And I think I did the first mission only. Um, the race? Yeah, it was, it was neat to see. Like, you kind of have story behind everything. That's, you know, a lot of VR games still don't have much story. So it was good to see that. Yeah, um, I'm, a, I'm a real story nerd. Uh, <laughs> nerd alert. I get really into lore. So I made sure. Oh, you're poking me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I made sure to fill this thing up with as much lore as I could fit in it. So before every mission, you talk to a member of the resistance, uh, each played by one of our lovely team members. Uh, <laughs> you probably talked to Sasha. She's the first you talk to, and she's actually yep. played by, uh, my friend Chelsea. Nice. Um, but, uh, I was, we've been so fortunate for the voice talent and honestly, all of the talent in the game. Uh, just to give you a bit of the history of the project, uh, this game actually started as a uh, class project um, and a vision of my brother, Sean, and a friend of his from the dorm, Ben. And they were kind of the first two of Corrupted Media. Uh, ben was providing the multiplayer ideas because he's a big competitive gamer himself. And Sean uh, was built the game mechanics. He kind of had this vision of swinging around in VR. Uh, there's a video, it actually recently popped up on our Snapchat. Once a year we get a little Snapchat, you know those memories? Mm -hmm. uh, Sean took a video of the very first line, basically line of code of vertical shift, which was just a little man uh, swinging on a box. <laughs> and that was Sean's proof of concept. And from there he got other people <laughs> excited on the team. That's when Dave and Connor joined. Uh, then they started building and they built it for their senior project for two semesters, uh, wow. actually with special permission because we, they were supposed to do a different project the next year, but they were like, Hey, we're trying to build a company out of this. And how could the professor say no? <laughs> uh, and then once they were done with the senior project, we founded a company and, uh, put the game on side quest. We grew it nice. for a year on side quest. It was a much simpler game back then with much simpler graphics. Uh, and during that year, we brought on artists. We brought on our good friend, Adrian, who did all of the building models here, and our friend, Douglas, who did the character models. Um, and uh, just upgraded the visual aesthetics of the game while also kind of hardening most of the mechanics and the game modes. And then this uh, last Christmas, we launched on Steam and Oculus App Labs. And uh, that's where we are right now. Um, we're still rolling out frequent updates. We've put out four updates this year so far uh, with wow. more on the way. And uh, the game just keeps getting better. I was going to say, when uh, you're swinging around and flying around, um, like there's no ground. No, The only floors are like the buildings. Um, and yep. I have, you know, I've, I haven't got VR sick for a long time. <laughs> um, but it's nice to find a game that once in a while will give you that little, like, you know, when you go over a bump too fast in a car and your stomach moves a little bit. <laughs> I got that a couple of times. So it was nice to, to feel that again. Um, yeah, we're good. Glad it wasn't nauseous guessing. or anything, but yeah, it was, you can really get, get some speed going, zipping around in those cities. And like you said, you had like a race mode and you have competitive things. So obviously you're building towards that, but I was kind of surprised how smooth and how fast I was able to get, get up to speed. We, uh, you know, that, that's been a major um, kind of 
thing we've had to design around. That's kind of been the excitement of de developing in VR is not all the rules have been written yet. Yeah. Uh, like you want to make a 2D platformer, you're, you can come up with very novel things for 2D platformers. Let me not knock them. However, most of the rules can be Googled. If you have a question on what the right way to do it is, you can Google it. With VR, it just hasn't been around long enough. So we had to do a lot of experimentation and research and uh, trial testing to figure out how to make the experience of swinging and flying as comfortable as possible. Because we really don't want people to feel sick in our game. Uh, and naturally, v Vertical Shift still is probably not the first game anyone should play on VR. You probably want to get your <laughs> VR legs a little bit first. A second, but man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a lot of our design considerations, for example, you mentioned that there is no ground. Um, in the very first model, when I came on and I tried out the game uh, that they gave me, there was a ground. And let me tell you what I learned quickly. <laughs> I did not like falling to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had all these alarm bells going off in my head saying I was about to turn into a pancake. Uh, <laughs> virtual reality is very good at fooling your eyes and your stomach. Um, yeah. And so it's why we wrote into the story that you're so high up in the air, you can't see the ground and you'll get sick and die if you go too low. It's so that you, nice. no one ever has to experience, you know, splatting on the ground. Uh, you just <laughs> fall until you reset. That's a, nice. it's a major comfort consideration we built. So you're like the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to be comfortable. <laughs> so you have, the, an hour. you have the grapple cables, you have the hand jets. Do I, am I remembering wrong? Can you like put your arms out and like glide as well? Like yeah, kind absolutely. Of oh, nice. yeah, it's, yeah. And that's uh, just a, a tip to anybody. If you ever want to achieve max speed, Someone's chasing you down in freeze tag. If you glide, you instantly go max speed. So it's a great way to pick up speed quickly. Oh. Yeah, it's combining like most games. And again, going, you know, VR is not old, but a lot of the original games, like you'd have one of those mechanics. You guys took all three of them and kind of put them together very well, I think. So that's thank you. Pretty, pretty insane. Uh, hopefully the devs are listening. Oh, hello, cat. No, you can't hang out right now. I'm in virtual like reality. I okay. can't see you. I just have claws going in my leg. I'm not a fan. Uh, one moment, please. Kitty cat. Away you go. My cat I love you got his dearly. balls taken off yesterday, so he's got the oh <laughs> Do we need, we should take a moment of silence for that. Mm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good bit. There's um, a VR game for you. I was just getting, getting back to this. <laughs> <laughs> Digital cat deflation. Okay. <laughs> Scalpel. <laughs> Surely someone's made something like that. There must be a VR surgery game by now. <laughs> There's like uh, 10 on Steam that are yeah. just for the flat gaming. <laughs> I can see through the, you know, the little nose gap on your quest. I can just see my cat angrily staring at me for not petting. Oh, him. that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, vertical shift. She's not allowed to play. We have taken pictures of her in headset before. Nice. Um, <laughs> but uh, when we turned it on, she got quite upset by the lights. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> how'd you do with the paddles for the controller <laughs> I just leaned them on her <laughs> um, so yeah it was, so, uh, if you check out yeah. your guys' YouTube channel it's, you, you stream like the, the gaming the esports side of things tournaments yeah, is what I do. was looking for yeah, that's pretty neat. I was watching a couple, and yeah, that those like I could swing around the city and and you know get through the time trials and things, but there's no way in hell I'd I'd keep up with those guys. Holy cow! <laughs> oh, let me tell you, me too. I have been playing this game longer than anyone. Um, who I with the only exception of the other developers, like I was a QA tester a, lot, a bit back when we first got started, and uh, it, it, I'm. A, 
blown away constantly every single tournament when I see these guys play. Uh, we've got such incredible players. Uh, players uh, like uh, Brick, who's going to be running this next tournament, win uh lord death uh all the people who came to that final round like if you want to see what this game can look like when turned <laughs> up to a hundred uh you should check out the finals of the retro electro tournament those guys uh i mean it was so fast <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they just they went in a corner and it was tag on tag tag on tag tag on tag <laughs> uh <laughs> compare that to like a public lobby where you just play around and the pacing is totally different yeah. um but those tournaments we i mean so that's the brainchild of Ben and our tournament organizer Chandler, and they put on just such a good production out of it. Uh, it's been we've done a few now. I think uh, don't quote me on this. I think we're at our fifth or sixth tournament that we've been running at that production level, and we offer cash prizes. Awesome. And uh, <laughs> their uh, Ben and is such a talented shoutcaster, uh, and combine that with the talent. I, I, up until this last tournament, I was a spectator. I'd just watch and love it. <laughs> I'd just sit back. I'm not really into sports myself, so this is kind of like the first sport I've been really able to get into. Uh, yes. I would invite friends over. We'd have popcorn. We'd cheer on it. We'd pick a team and cheer them into the finals. Uh, this last time, I actually went on as kind of the correspondent role. So I interviewed <laughs> uh, players who came off of the last game and also raffled off T-shirts and merch and such and uh if you want merch check our website merch <laughs> <laughs> links in the show notes yeah <laughs> like i assume you get motion sickness just watching the youtube version of like one of those guys streaming so fast i can't imagine <laughs> that. that looks like fun i don't think i would get have a problem with that but if i tried to keep up with some of those guys i'd probably be I, you know, <laughs> we do uh, we do have to shuffle between all the players pretty frequently, because oh, uh, right. like, we show first person perspective, and uh, I I don't know that that's why Ben shuffles through them, but um, you know, so let's just say you never have to watch one guy uh, go in quite <laughs> as fast uh, for too long. They they recently, and I say recently, it might be kind of like you know a, when I found out about the word poggers. Uh, I thought, oh, what a recent term. And I found out it's what people have been saying for a long time. Uh, it was a, not long ago. Um, but recently, the, uh, our players have started the strategy they're calling juking. Um, and if juking is a very normal thing to others, uh, you know, I'm not the competitive guy. Uh, that's Ben. <laughs> but they um, will bait somebody in. So we have here, I'm going to use the pills here. Uh, we got player one, player one here. Uh, <laughs> a very common thing that occurs in the game is a joust. So two people are swinging at each other and they both tag, right? Uh, and we have programmed it. We've put a lot of work into making sure there's always a winner of the joust. You just, or if you're a split second on top earlier, you win the joust. But nice. so what some players have been doing is they'll bait somebody into a joust and then they will pull back at the very last second. They'll reach behind them and zip with their uh, grapple hook. So they'll come into the joust, they'll get right before they fire, pull back, and then they'll get above them and tag them then. Nice. I saw that That's strategy awesome. pulled off by our <laughs> best players uh, over and over this last tournament, and I've been trying it. I have been trying <laughs> to pull it off. I get tagged every time I attempt it. <laughs> and what would get real crazy is when you then start seeing people juking, like they both come into joust and then they both juke. And then they jive. And then they jive, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Lord Lord it's Death, if you're watching, I want to me... see this maneuver. Yeah. <laughs> it's always what amazing to me like, like for you? gamers like um you know, you develop a game and you're like, why the hell is that person doing that? I would have never thought someone would do that. Now I gotta fix that, but same kind of thing like with just playing the actual game and creating moves like that it's just insane and it, like it's, how would you guys have ever even like concepted that you know like <laughs> i don't know uh it's kind of been a big thing about developing for vr it's again why uh, it was very important to us that we develop in vr we were very excited about it we started this game uh right after the oculus quest one came out 
because we could tell just by putting it on, this was not the final version of this hardware. And when we get that <laughs> final version, it's going to be huge. Uh, and also because there just weren't very many multiplayer games at that time. Like uh, my brother got a Quest 1, I got a Quest 1. I promise I'm getting back to your question. Uh, my brother got a Quest 1, I got a Quest 1. And then we were like, oh, cool, let's play together. And we went online and there was like a card game. We could play poker. I was like, well, <laughs> shoot, I could do that outside of VR. <laughs> <Let's, Yeah. laughs> where are the multiplayer games that let you do things that are impossible? Uh, right. So we... That's kind of what started spawning this idea was to uh, build a game that we could play with our friends, the game we wanted to play in VR. Uh, but so one of the exciting things we learned very quickly when developing for VR is there are no limitations to what the player can do. Uh, in traditional games, you can control player perspective. You can control where the player goes. You can lock out controls. Um, you have all this control we don't have that. Uh, I can't guarantee anyone's going to be looking at something unless I properly incentivize them to look at them. Uh, right. uh, and, and it's um, not good convert... to like lock out controls because that can cause nauseous and all kinds of exactly. problems. So you exactly. Don't do that. Uh, so we had to kind of rethink a lot of the basics of game design <laughs> <laughs> uh, because we were like, we just can't, uh, you know, trust that our players are going to do exactly what we expect them to here. And they constantly prove us right on that. So nice. you have like a tutorial and somebody's talking and you program it. So like, you know, my camera stopped looking at them and then the tutorial stops and the guy's like fucking talking to you <laughs> until they look at him again. That's what I've always envisioned. Like, okay, honestly, you can write that down. You piece of we shit, do have a you know? tutorial. <laughs> Um, we do have a tutorial. I play the coach in the tutorial, and I would love to record that line. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, this is recording. Uh, hey, Connor, uh, you're working on the tutorial. Take note of that. I'll let you see you, have Connor. That one, Connor. <laughs> free. <laughs> that one's that's a freebie. A free. <laughs> Um, that's also been, uh, so I wrote all the characters, not all of them. Uh, I've had some friends tag in and write some of the characters, but, uh, that's been like a really fulfilling and rewarding and crazy thing is <laughs> I'll write this character. I'll record it with a friend. I'll send it all to my brother, Sean, who then put, uh, packages it together with a system he created and then puts it in. And then I go into VR, stand in front of the character I wrote and have a you conversation with them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, especially when it's myself. Those are typically pretty yeah. surreal. That's uh, actually, I've been, <laughs> I, I do a really silly accent. Uh, it's like the worst Southern accent you've ever heard. Um, and it's mostly so that I don't actually have to listen to myself every time I'm going in to test the game. Nice. <laughs> I can have I mean, some plausible deniability. Of, no, that's not me. That's coach. You have any blooper <laughs> reels? You ever get in a fight with yourself? <laughs> I can't Actually, speak to that. Me and Coach are on good talking terms. <laughs> I think I would like to hear the accent. I mean, I've heard it in the game, but um, for those who haven't played yet. Well, let's little... see if I can get it together now. Uh, this is Coach here. Uh, <laughs> I uh, just want to take you through this here tutorial. Uh, you got you, you look down there. Uh, that's what's my, what's my line? It's uh, uh, if you look down below you, those purple clouds you see, uh, they ain't cotton candy. Uh, fall down there. You'll be dead before you hit the ground. <laughs> nice. I'm from Georgia. I can do it. I can't make it clap. Thank you. Down, but there you go. <laughs> oh, I'm banging my controllers together. That's not good. <laughs> That's just neat that you guys can you know all have like a piece of it and have fun with it and make it into something. You know, put everything together and make something out of it. That's that's pretty awesome. You know, we're a small, tight ship. The only way we run is if everybody owns something. So uh, everybody has final decision making on one part of the game and one thing that they contribute to. Uh, and it's been working really, really well. Lois is our uh, lead. Lois is our lead artist. Uh, Adrian is our 3D designer. Um, I have final say on story. Uh, ben is our competitive guy. He designs, you know, how to make the game a competitive mm -hmm. and interesting environment for multiplayer. Sean works gameplay. Connor has the tutorial, uh, and Chandler has tournaments. 
and uh, it it works a lot better that way. We move a lot faster, and there's a lot less. You know, it's it, it's a small but kind of big team for the scale we're at. True. Sure. I wish they could have joined us. I see you have enough seats for everybody, but uh, <laughs> I mentioned on. this beforehand. But I'll I'll tell the users. <laughs> uh, Vertical Shift is currently at MomoCon in Atlanta. Uh, we're in the indie cluster booth over in the gaming section, and we're running demos. So we've got headsets that we are vigorously cleaning between use. <laughs> and uh, you can come on Thank down, you. try out the game, swing around Orion. We'll hand you a bit, uh, one of our download cards so you can take it home and down, download it for yourself. So if you're in the Georgia area and you're going to MomoCon, come check us out. Come say hi and say Lorne sent you. And if you're there Saturday and Sunday, you'll be saying that to me. Nice. <laughs> I would love Kinda for someone like to say Lauren sent me to me. That would be pretty fun. Yeah. If like I you're talking to say your Rocket Lad sent me. Uh, that's that's my online. That's my name on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys do that? Run like the your online identity and your in real identity. I never know which one to use. Yeah. So, <clears throat> like we've been playing online since. I mean, there was some before that, but like Dreamcast, would you say, Wookie? Yeah. Wow. So I've I've been like PJ since then. And like my wife at the time for 20 years, like we actually still call each other by our online handles, like our friends in real life. Like that's just, <laughs> we we use that more than our real names. So it's kind of, <laughs> we had a, back at that time, we had a friend come visit from New York. We met on one of the Dreamcast games. And, you know, riding on a bus all the way f middle, halfway across the country, there's Justin, but then it's like, hey, Crimson. And yeah. it's really <laughs> awkward because I don't call you Justin. No, I can't <laughs> call you. It was really weird because it was like I, my brain wouldn't let me call the guy by his name. And it's like, well, it's Crimson. <laughs> it's Crimson. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i, I mean i, I kind of like it everybody gets to pick another identity their own name yeah, exactly yep. uh i'll say today i learned that the dreamcast had internet but um <laughs> what <laughs> he's not running stimpy old that's right that's i'm right. not running stimpy old no <laughs> dreamcast uh, was actually like the shit oh yeah i'm still saying it was so was ahead of its time <laughs> What was my first online console? I think it was the 360. All right. Yeah, it was the 360. I had an Xbox, but uh, I'd never figured out how to get it to connect to the internet because uh, <laughs> I was very small. <laughs> and well, the internet was this, much more complicated back then. This this will well, this probably won't tell you how old I am, but um, I actually beta tested Xbox Live before it was a thing. So, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's original uh, Xbox. So, so like the X, the original Xbox before. Uh, yeah, wow, what a crazy thing to ex have happened that there was an Especially Xbox when, without Xbox Live. Yeah, that was yeah. it was. I remember we we saw the Xbox. We're like, what the hell is that jack on the back for? Like, because it didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> had oh, Ethernet. you plugged them into each other. Yeah, you yeah, could you could, could do that. The, uh, but... Regular phone cord that nobody uses anymore. Four wires, and then this one had like the, the bigger <laughs> phone jack, and it's like, no. Oh, What's this? And that was before Ethernet was like, you know, everywhere. Mm -hmm. so it like pushed it. So it was like, oh shit. So what's this like I'm... 1935? <laughs> and then uh I have a funny story. The uh the GameCube came out not long after Xbox Live. And that and had, that was my know, first like, console. That had like the uh regular phone cord plug-in, but you could get the Ethernet adapter. And I remember <laughs> walking through a uh, girlfriend's uh one of her old high school friends, they she got one, and she couldn't figure out how to use the Ethernet because she was trying to plug in the regular phone cord into the Ethernet thing. And I was like, <laughs> one's got fucking four, the other's got fucking eight. It's twice as big. Which one are you using? <laughs> the other one. And like, I remember it was like a three-hour conversation. I was like, you know what? Fuck you. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Go to hell. I was like, I'm going to see my free time. <laughs> but she couldn't get the damn Ethernet through it. I'm like, I'm thinking you're using the phone cord, honey. <laughs> oh my god sorry that's working me out so then i have a question for you what do you think you back then would have said uh to the idea of recording a podcast in virtual reality <laughs> with someone across the nation i would have said the fuck is a podcast 
<laughs> and how do you record that in a virtual boy when it's all just like red? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so uh, you'll like this. I don't know how much of this actually ended up in our um, tournament, uh, like videos on demand that we put on YouTube. But this last tournament was Retro Electro. And we needed to figure out some filler content, you know, for when the shoutcasters have to go to the bathroom. Um, and so we gathered up a collection of Virtual Boy commercials. <laughs> nice. um, and early 90s internet advertisements uh, and awesome. played those and they are <laughs> such they're amazing you have not watched a virtual boy commercial uh <laughs> since the virtual boy came out i recommend <laughs> it they <laughs> i don't know how they thought this was good marketing but the video is the virtual boy chasing someone down and forcing <laughs> itself onto his face <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember that <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what they were going for. It seems like a bad Facebook call. Facebook didn't steal that yet. <laughs> no, they will, because that'll happen in real. Now, now they heard you. Yeah. Mark, you listening, see, like, Mark? Yeah. We're old enough that, I don't know if you remember the specifics, but like, I remember the Paul Rudd actor, you know, Ant-Man and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he got his start the Paul Rudd, yes. Super Nintendo advertisement back then so the same time frame you're talking about he's sitting there like playing the, like the giant wall tv and he's like rocking out with a super nintendo controller when he was like 15 <laughs> that's how old we are <laughs> <laughs> not as old yeah. as paul rudd but i saw it him sounds like your super nintendo might have been my xbox um <laughs> yeah <laughs> no internet all right we're starting to figure out everybody's age range in here <laughs> it's fun <laughs> Um, so I, I have a question. When are y'all going to hop in vertical shift and let our uh, our players show y'all what's up? I'm down anytime. <laughs> All right. I saw you joined the Discord. Yep. Uh, they, we have a lot of players who would be happy to show you around, uh, show you a trick or two. Maybe they can teach you to juke. I'll join you. We can learn to juke together. I'd be down for that. <laughs> <laughs> I might hop in. I don't know, I'm all over the place. Yeah, jo join us too. Uh, probably after MomoCon because yeah. uh, <laughs> it's, well, it's a bit of a busy weekend. Uh, we have to, you know, show the game to hundreds of people, I guess. Oh, that's oh, terrible. I know. <laughs> what a, what a, it's a fun so, time. We actually, our, our panels, now. our booths right across from a bunch of comic artists. It's really cool. That sounds terrible. <laughs> you should get them to I'm guy, just kidding. It sounds there's awesome. There's a guy with a DeLorean time machine parked next to us. Nice. <laughs> really? I asked. Uh, he said it can't get up to eighty-eight. Mm. I drove past one of those. I live in North Carolina. It's not too far from you guys. We got really no, thin all. roads, and I drove past a DeLorean. Apparently, there, there's a uh, classic car shop not near, not far away. So I keep seeing all these crazy cars. And I drove past a DeLorean, and it ran me off the road. I had to put tires <laughs> in the grass. And hit them. Like, How wide is that fucking thing? <laughs> how many of them could there be like they didn't make that many i don't know i know there's, there's uh, podcasts about them so there's uh, i don't know they're coming back I, I saw an ad where like they're trying to revive the brand maybe they'll have an electric one well i mean now those uh gold wing doors are all the rage with uh the tesla i feel like an electric yeah. delorean would kill yeah maybe i should gold wing my volvo <laughs> do it do it <laughs> Hey, I dare you. You hear that podcast? He's going to gold wing his Volvo. What do you think that'll run? The Volvo community, it's actually an old car. It's a 66. Um, Ooh. All so right. I think I would get like, castrated by the Volvo community for cutting the roof, <laughs> like modifying the thing. But could they one catch person you? That would come You'll be going you. so fast. With the four-cylinder <laughs> tractor motor what do you say PJ? i said i know one person that might get pretty upset with you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah we've had um from resolution games um tommy palm has been on a couple times and they talk cars I, i'm not a car person unless it's like a batmobile or something i don't care but um yeah they <laughs> they talk cars every time and i'm just kind of over here like all right let me know when we get back to vr like, <laughs> well really the, the first time we had him on the podcast and PJ was like, he's going to go look at some stupid such and such. And apparently, <laughs> Big Tommy was like, that's my dream car. Yeah. But he's in Sweden, and that's where the Volvos came from. And I'm driving to Georgia to go sign the paperwork to buy his dream car. And I'm like, 
Maybe I'll maybe I'll just go in. Maybe I'll do those Lambo doors that are like sliding van doors. Just Ooh, all them. right, all right. Then I'll then I'll refinance my house with our high mortgage rates nowadays, and I'll just fuck that car <laughs> over. <laughs> uh, so the the guys who had the DeLorean at Momocon, uh, I was actually chatting with the guy next to him who had the uh, Greg Universe from Steven Universe's van. Uh, nice. Momocon's great. <laughs> Momocon is fantastic. There was also, just while I'm on it, there was the bus from Fortnite. Uh, but so I, I, I get this guy's card and they're like, yeah, this is what he does. He makes uh, movie recreation cars. So if you want Ooh. a DeLorean time machine, if you want a Jurassic Park Jeep, and I was like, stop, I do. <laughs> yeah. I do indeed. <laughs> Now I kind of want to like be a CEO of something so I can have a 10 car garage just to put in a Jurassic Park Jeep. Mm -hmm. Well, I am a CEO of something, so please go download Vertical Shift (laughs) so I can have my Jurassic Park Jeep. (laughs) Won't you help this poor man? (laughs) (laughs) Let me accomplish my dreams. You'll have fun too, I promise. (laughs) Now, I don't need the Lamborghini, just my Jurassic Park Jeep. You know, actually, whenever I play like a Forza game, that's the first thing I do. If they give me a starter Jeep that looks like a Jeep, I go on the little browser for the paint jobs, and there's a fucking Jurassic Park one day one every time. And I'm like, boom, <laughs> there I go. <laughs> Nedry, here I come. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to go after Dennis. I don't think it turned out well for him. He's the only one I can win beat in a race. He's not quick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and when you're being chased by dinosaurs, you don't have to be the fastest. Yeah. <laughs> just the you just have to be faster flow. than Nedry. Yeah. Oh, man, we're, now we're getting to the Jurassic Park deep cuts. I hope everyone here is caught up on their Jurassic Park. There is a new one coming out, so good time for a Jurassic <laughs> Park marathon if you want to be ready for what I'm sure is going to be a terrible movie. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the Chris Pratt Jurassic Parks are up my alley. I think I just like the first one, the original. Yeah, that's basically the only good one. Not basically. That's the only good one. Um, yeah. It was a, a one-hit wonder that they've been trying to continue to milk. I, I think I did Apparently watch life doesn't find like, a way. Yeah, it, 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 like oh, now they're just running around and appear in L.A. just so they can you know do rampage shit in L.A. Like, that movie drives me crazy. Well, and that kind of feels like what this entire new movie is going to be is uh, the second half of the Lost World. So they didn't learn that's the lesson last time that it was boring. No, I guess not. But hopefully they won't have a T-Rex that somehow eats the entire crew while still being locked in the cargo hold. Uh, <laughs> movie drives me crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have you guys played the Jurassic Park VR game? Yes. I actually quite enjoy it. Yeah. All right. So I got to know because I, I do not do, I don't want anything to scare me in VR. I'm not into hey. it. The world is scary enough. Will it You've scare come me? to the right place? I cannot handle horror in VR. I can handle horror any other way. Like it's never bothered me until VR, and, and I can play that game without dying. Like okay, literally. He's, he's he's chicken. Chicken. You're good. Yeah, I gotta check it out then because it's been. <laughs> I mean, it looks great. I want to play it so bad, but I'm like, I I don't need to be peeing myself in my VR headset. So I guess you just I don't get you know. it. VR horror just it it sounds terrible. It sounds like something the Geneva Convention should ban. Uh yeah. it, well, <laughs> I mean, it, it's one of my favorite stories. Like the first game we played in VR was Elven Assassin. And my favorite, I still remember the feeling was like I'm dodging an arrow that PJ's trying to shoot me with, or one of PJ or our other friend we were playing with. And you see this like Nintendo 64 polygonal barrel here. And I, I know it's not real. I know it's not there. I'm in a cube in like a what was that just like a uh a theme park rental game unit where you know kind of like the yeah. booths you have set up that you're cleaning the uh mm-hmm. glasses in between and yet i still like dodged and I, I like my brain was like go ahead and lean on that you can dodge real quick and this barrel will save your ass but it's not there <laughs> and i'm just fucking plastered on the ground laughing because like <laughs> the whole slow motion time i'm dodging, jumping at this barrel i'm like this is gonna go really wrong and my brain didn't care and it's like what would i do if a fucking vampire bat flew in my face i'd be like might as well play that on the toilet because i know what's gonna happen <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's, so, it's too VR. real. It's yeah, uh, had, I've got um, good VR legs, but I can't. I don't want to be scared. <laughs> We've had Jeff Bull Jr. on the uh, podcast when uh, a year ago, almost with um, "Don't Upset Bobby," his game. I couldn't <laughs> even get past the start menu because the music was like he's really good with music, like spatial mm-hmm. audio. I couldn't even start it. I could not make myself. And I feel like a bastard because I'm like, yeah, in October, I'll record myself. I'll cry like a little kid and this and that. I couldn't do it. <laughs> and I hadn't even heard of that one. And just you guys explaining the premise was like, that's fucking terrifying. Yeah. Like you go into this room and this like kid's doing some weird thing. And he looks over and like, don't upset mommy. And it's like, no, no. Oh, none of that, please. No, well, we, no, no, thank you. We did play one horror game. The only horror game I played was that Phantasma. What was it called? You're playing the ghost oh, hunter? Phasmophobia. Oh, Phasmophobia. My friends were so into that, and I was so left out. It's, <laughs> we went in blind, which we usually try to do just to experience stuff like movies and things. So four of us were playing, my girlfriend, sister, some random Twitter friend of PJ's. We didn't know what you're supposed to do, that you're supposed to like use tools and someone's supposed to stay outside in the truck and like monitor your <laughs> sanity levels. All four of us are running around and getting picked <laughs> off by this ghost. <laughs> And then, like, you know, one of them's like, she just drops dead, and there's a shadow. She's like, I'm fucking dead. And then we all start, like, you know, <laughs> shit. And then I see these gross hands, like the highest death thing in the game. These hands come and, like, crunch my face. And I'm like, my hands. I started screaming, my hands, but it was his hands. But my face. And it was just like, what the fuck? Like, it was a complete mental breakdown. And we never played it again. <laughs> that, yeah. Nope. None of that, please. Uh, I am. That's not for me. Half Life Alex <laughs> almost got me. That's like the yep. scariest thing I've played in VR so far. The only reason I, I kept playing was because like, just get me to the next beautiful scene. Yeah. I haven't either, honestly. That I, I they took me down into the sewers. They handed me a flashlight and a gun, yep. and I couldn't hold both at the same time. And I was like, yep. what kind of abusive thing is this? <laughs> if I have to reload my gun, I gotta t- put down my flashlight and just be in the dark with things jumping at me. Does it still have those yeah. um? things yes. that hang down and crunch you <laughs> it does yes, it's like does. when i was going to school a friend of mine like that's when in 2002 or three when half-life one was still kind of big and he would just come into class and just rant about those things he'd have to like hit alt f4 and he'd just be like freaking out because the crunchy noise <laughs> gave him nightmares and this is like a weightlifty guy and i was like what are you fucking talking about? And later on, I played it. I'm like, you're a little aged now, but I can see that. But in VR, fuck no. Yeah, have, you, played, uh, um, have you gotten to play Half-Life 1 in VR? No. Yes. And that's and with nothing else changed, just putting it in VR, like it's still freaking creepy as hell. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. It is. Yeah. It takes a game that like, because I played Half-Life 1 as a kid, yeah. but it was, you know, a solid like 20 years after the game mm-hmm. came out. Uh and it was just sort of like a novel, like, oh, wow, it's the first first-person shooter. Oh, it's still so fun. Once the, that thing came on in VR and I was in like a flickering hallway and there was the explosion, yeah. I was like, oh, my. Like all of the years of graphics didn't mean yeah. anything. Its ambiance yep. was incredible. Yeah. That's, I mean, it really is the power of VR is that your brain kind of fills in, yeah. like, right? Like uh once you're in a 3d environment and you have spatial audio and all these things going on your brain just kind of goes all right this is reality this is what the world's like the world's pixelated yep. that barrel's yeah. really fucking there go get after it you dumbass <laughs> <laughs> so if it makes you feel any better i've got a story like that when we first uh couple like i guess it was a year back it was right after the quest 2 came out we were showing it to a family friend and uh we wanted to show them uh, we were like, what's the easiest game to start? So we put them in job simulator. And because nice. <laughs> uh, we were like, if we throw them in vertical shift first. They're never going to want to play VR again. Uh, we threw them in vertical shift after and they learned to love it. Uh, and we've got a, We had a whole strategy for it. But anyway, so he's uh, he's working a, as a ch- cashier. He's, you know, shit talking the uh, robots that come up. Uh, he's like, wow, this is really incredible. And then he goes to lean on the counter <laughs> and falls all the way on his face. We had to nice. like catch him. He was an older man too. We were like, oh my God, we're oh, going to break no. him. <laughs> <laughs> he got out. He was so embarrassed. We were like, I mean, it's, 
<laughs> okay, it was your first time in VR. There was a table. Uh, and I'll tell you, there was once I was taking my controller off uh, <laughs> while I was working on some v uh, QA stuff. I took my controller off and I went to put it on the table and then let go. And that was not a table. That was VR. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my controller. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, well, yeah. one day, uh, I mean, they're working on stuff now that'll kind of fix that, right? Like, it'll work your uh, in your room environment into the virtual space so that yep. you can have more tangible stuff. Yeah. I want that technology in that EMU VR setup at the 90s bedroom <laughs> or whatever. So I can yeah. have it mapped to like my room and just sit there in a VR bedroom. Like, yeah. <laughs> that does sound kind of nice. <laughs> I'm just slowly getting closer to you. I hope that's okay. <laughs> Check me. Do we clip into oh. each other? Oh, I hate it. I don't like it at all. Oh, no. <laughs> get out of me. He's inside me. Well, can't get off him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that in the reviews. Yeah. It smells so good. I don't know what's that. What are you wearing? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how's my controller? Oh boy. I better get this thing. My charger does not want to stay on the headset, and I am at four percent. So in the event oh, no. I spontaneously combust, All right. uh, well, please know it's not personal. We're gonna crank the VR dial up for, for chat up to one point five. <laughs> um so sort of anyway, vertical whatever. shift. The the reason you're here, kind of. Um, <laughs> that is the reason I'm here. Um, we talked about it. So what what's your guys? Do you have like a roadmap? Do you have like a uh, plans for like full release or any like major updates or anything you want to? Yeah, absolutely. Share? We're going to be updating throughout the year. We're going to have new maps coming out. Uh, we're going to have new uh, cosmetic purchase options coming out uh, very soon. Um, I, uh, you know, I don't have a full roadmap to show off, but what I can tell you is that uh, if you join our Discord, you're going to be receive constant updates on what we're going to be putting out. Uh, you're going to be first to know, and uh, we will be uh, probably within uh, a year or maybe two, depending on development, uh, moving our game into a paid full launch, and that's going to be bigger than better than everything uh, that we've right. that's come before. Uh, the game is right now, you know, it's all of our side hustles. Um, so we can only put so much time into it, but as we are ramping up development and, uh, we're getting more ad more and more, uh, revenue coming in from our cosmetic purchases, from the in-game advertisements, uh, we're hoping to, you know, make this more and more of our lives and really turn this into a full studio that, uh, will be a name that goes on into the generations of VR. Uh, here, I've got a spiel. You, you want to hear my spiel? This is, this yeah. is my, my pitch. This is the pitch I've made to a couple Your of our investors. Day. It calls back to Half Life, right? Pitch from uh, the so pitch in, it's here. Exactly. So you guys, you guys lived this. So uh, tell me if I'm wrong. Um, I look at this moment in VR gaming as a kind of a, a echo, a repeat of the early '90s PC gaming. This new technology comes out, and it can do brand new things. In the '90s, it was 3D. Uh, it was 3D environments. It was Doom. It was Half-Life. It was this ability to go into a three-dimensional world through your computer and go around, not a 2D platformer. And it was a total seed change where all of the rules got rewritten and video games were the... Uh, that's how video games were for the next 30 years. Is that how y'all remember yeah. it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we think that's what's <laughs> happening right now. All the rules got to get rewritten. Uh, all the technology is new. Uh, but we think the next 30 years are going to look a lot more like this than they look like the last 30. Yeah. So that's why we're jumping in now. And that's why we're trying to learn all these rules before, uh, honestly, before the AAA studios are even bothering to learn them is right. so that we can be on the forefront, uh, because, you know, Valve was not a AAA studio before Half-Life. Uh, the reason they were able to become a AAA studio is because they saw the writing on the wall. They saw PC gaming was going to be the next big thing. And they moved in there before Nintendo and before Microsoft and before anyone else tried. And uh, that's why Valve now runs the entire PC world. So <laughs> corrupted media, one day we're yeah. going to be running the, uh, the VR world. You uh, keep an eye out for the corrupted media deck. Nice.
I, I fully agree, though. I think, I think you're right on. Thank you. Well, uh, you know, keep up with us. I'd love to keep in contact with you guys. Uh, I may not be able to hang out much longer because of my headset, but uh, <laughs> I'd love to come back on here with more of the team. They can talk to you more about the technical parts. Uh, ben yeah. can go on for a long time about our competitive scene and where he wants to see it go. Uh, he can talk way more about that than I can. I'm, I'm the story guy. I'm the business guy. Um, <laughs> when I start playing competitively, I get my butt kicked. <laughs> Yeah, anytime yeah. you have yeah. updates or anything, we'd love to have you. Or no updates. Right. Or, yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, we'll just come to visit. I've enjoyed Chalorians with you all. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And whatever the next big thing is, be like, remember, remember Vertical Shift in VR and now, like, BC, the new thing? Like, when we played <laughs> Vertical Shift and, you know, the old Vertical Shift in BC and it was amazing? Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. Awesome. I look forward Very to that. <laughs> well, man, it's been shift, awesome talking to you. Hopefully your battery doesn't die on us, but um, yeah, thanks for your time and sharing your, your guys' stories. Like it's, it's just, I love hearing you guys building what you want and making it the game you want and sharing it is always a great thing. Thank you so much. That's, that's uh, honestly really rewarding to hear. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing with y'all. Um, we'll we'll grab our best players. We'll schedule a time, and you guys can stream it and let everybody know what's what's going on. All right. Sorry, Will Kid, I cut you off right there. No, I had okay. cat problems too. Oh. <laughs> oh man, have fun at MomoCon. Tell everyone Thank nice you. Today. Hey, if you guys are over <laughs> in North Carolina, you can drive on down and join us. I would, but what? I'm in Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, that's a little he's, further he's away. Yeah, I don't think my huge right, well, you... Volvo is going to make. Oh <laughs> uh, well, that's that's an excellent point. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you got to get the gold wing doors on there. That's right. Now you can fly. <laughs> mask. Exactly. <laughs> you don't remember mask, so I won't. I'm mash. Uh, my mom no. loved mash. <laughs> <laughs> the old That's cartoon the and toys mask where the yeah. they had a car where the gullwing doors popped open and it could suddenly fly oh, like trans cool. am <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cartoons to sell toys <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's what the transformers were right and we still love them Okay, well, I am at 2%, so I should go for the graceful exit rather than the abrupt yeah. combustion. <laughs> it's been right. such again, a pleasure man. being on with both of you. Uh, thank yeah. you, everyone listening. Hope to see you all in the game. Uh, VerticalShift.net. <laughs> VerticalShift on Where Oculus App Labs. Uh, VerticalShift, <laughs> Oculus App Labs. Steam VR. Mm-hmm. Or just go on the internet. Thanks. Look up Vertical Shift. The show You'll notes. find us. Yeah. <laughs> or go to the links. Join us on Discord. Friends. They will have heard about it because they they, listen they to might. This. Uh, you know, to pay, the further every single month, more of them will have heard about it. They look at it that and way. If, <laughs> and if they haven't, you have, so you tell them. Hey, please tell your friends. Tell your friends we're a multiplayer game. We need multiple players. <laughs> what was that family <laughs> line? You tell two friends, and they'll do two friends, and that's like ten people right there. That is. All right. That's 1%. Lauren's going to wave away. See you guys. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you guys. Take care. See ya. <laughs> well, everyone, thanks for listening, hanging out, and watching. Links are in the show notes, like we said. Check out the game. It's a good time. It's the locomotion with the grapple hooks, the jet hands, and the gliding. It's pretty, pretty crazy. You can get some speed going. Apparently, I'm going to learn how to juke. <laughs> One of PJ's recent tweets had uh, him and I in Neos VR, and he was playing um, Godzilla, oh, and I was playing like like uh, the Iron Man, Spider Man, Spiron, Spiron person stuff. But I was like <laughs> flying around, and just even that, well, I, that was me in that one. You can't really see my name, but like look up PJ's recent tweet and it says Wookie and Neos. But like, you know, just flying around, that, I was just doing that for like two hours, it felt like. Yeah, I was just they're just flying around. So now it's got a point. Like a whole game built around <laughs> that kind of motion is probably pretty fu- fun. Yeah, I don't know that I could keep up with a bunch of people without a lot of practice, but. <laughs>
<laughs> I'll stay in the baby league. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so when we play shooters, I'm just used to, you know, like Xbox and stuff when you like, you know, you push right bumper and you take cover behind a wall and you push X to reload. We're playing, you know, VR shooters and I'm just sitting there. Oh yeah, I got to reload. I'm like, oh, I'm not hiding behind anything because I'm not used to moving my whole big ass body down there. You know, <laughs> oh, you got to squat and hide and you get shot. So, you know, actually gliding with your arms out and tagging people and punching people in the crotch at <laughs> full contact. I don't see that in the notes anywhere. <laughs> Well, what, how do you tag people? You just touch them? Aren't you supposed to, like... Yeah, yeah, I about meant the crotch part. Turning? Yeah. I mean, if you get those, <laughs> like... I'm sticking my feet out, none of you can see it where my foot is. My foot. But, like, once they get, like, full-body VR stuff, you can bet I'm going to be swinging and shit, and I'm going to kick somebody in the face. <laughs> it's going to do something to them in VR, not in real life. It's going to, you Haptics, know, knock them right off their... their uh, whatever they're riding on, right off their horse. Just... <laughs> I'm going to kick some bitches. You know, he was mentioning jousting and vertical shift, but I never thought of, like, that'd be a fucking fun VR game. Just regular jousting. <laughs> I'll get on it. We'll put it in every here. Every episode, we come up with something new, and our backlog is getting huge. <laughs> yeah. Someday. But I would, I would like to knock you off a horse. <laughs> That would be or fun. a hoverboard. I don't care. <laughs> Unless you got power. <laughs> See, I don't know if we could hang out with him because, you know, he doesn't know any of the, the quotes. <laughs> He's talking about the DeLorean, but does he really know? Unless you've got power. Does he have I'll, a self growing uh, jacket? No, I don't either, but. I'll shoot that to him in Discord and see what his reply is. <laughs> and <Yeah. then> judge him. <laughs> <laughs> judge him by his reply. This is the litmus test. If you can answer this in t- 10 seconds, <laughs> no Googling, no cheating. We'll jump in your your tournament with your crazies. <laughs> that does look like fun, though. Yeah. I like that kind of that quick action combat and stuff. Flipping around. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks again, everyone. Just a reminder, we're for those who don't know, because apparently a lot of people still don't know, we do the show live in VR and then release the audio as the podcast. So just look live. for VR Verdict on YouTube and you can catch our live videos and um, clips and all that fun stuff. But uh, and coming we'll soon, at... somewhat soon, you can join the audience. Yeah, we'll get better at the self-promoting thing. You got to sprinkle that throughout the episodes. <laughs> recording coming to you now live from VR. We got to get radio voices. That was horrible, but we'll get better ones. <laughs> Never mind. Nobody knows what radio is anymore. Yeah. Lauren wouldn't. <laughs> We're picking on the poor guy that came to talk to us when he's gone. We're assholes. Yeah. <laughs> it's his battery. Yeah. He didn't plug it in. That's his fault. <laughs> <laughs> Just <funny. laughs> All He right. seems like a good kid. Have a good yeah. night. Go check out Vertical Shift free for a while no reason get it get it while it's hot and free <laughs> like your mama <laughs>